The Guided Fate Paradox, my first ever PlayStation 3 game. And boy, the PlayStation 3 is the worst console I have ever played. We used before. That aside, what I'm currently working on is getting equipment boosted. What am I doing with rank 1 stuff when I've got rank 6 stuff? Well, the reason behind that is actually pretty simple. These serve as boosters for rank 4 things, which are effectively level 1 as I call it. Level 2 and above use ranks 5 and 6, preferably 5 for the most part, 6 if I'm going to be using it. But if you really want to see my most powerful item, it's this. When this thing gets very near burst status, as it is right now, it can be almost 4,000% boost. What does that mean? Well, if you're at base attack stat, with the icons and whatnot, with no equipment, is 1,000, a 4,000% means that you're going to get a 41x multiplier on that, or 41,000. And if you think this is nuts, it's going to be considered extremely weak compared to what I'm going to be working on, or getting in a several months from now. Forget level 5, try level 7. What's the level all about? It's just a system to keep track on, a system of my own creation that helps keep track on how powerful things are. So that way, well, to give you the basics, I am currently working on getting, here's a level 4 item, but I'm trying to get some level 4 uh, misc item. Here's the level 4, but I need one more after this so I can fuse it for a level 5. And, well, I'd also want to show you some other things. This does not include the deaths, the four deaths that I've actually had. Because the penalty is so steep, I have to use the reset button, if there were one. Turns out I don't have to use the power button for that instead. Wait for the system to turn off, turn it back on after some time, and you pretty much get the basic idea. Highest level is 9999. You can actually do that without the infinite EN glitch, and also, even without the system that I had thought of before, because I have a way of doing that, in quick time, too. That's just that part of it. So, obviously, when you want high power equipment, you definitely want to get some, well, boosting going on. But it's going to take a long time to get that 1100 burst. The thing is, there's a much faster way of doing that. How much faster? Well, pick an angel. It has to be an angel that does all the work. You obviously have to have burst up, and with all five energy sources fed into it, that makes it, instead of 10 at the most, 30, because it's tripled. It's times 3. But no energy source is fed into it, it's actually times two instead. This helps a little bit. It gives 5% of the enemy's HP in return. In case you're wondering on what it does. Each energy source adds two onto that, so feed six possible and you can get 17%. So if an enemy has 1000 HP, it's 50 at the minimum with no energy sources, or up to a maximum of 170. That's basically how that works. One critically important thing, which is also needed for getting level 999, is this. This is not really an important item. This comes in handy, along with this, although it's not really a must. This isn't really a necessity, but it's kind of an idea I'm what I'm working with. This is also used, but that's only because angels tend to use special skills a lot. Well, divine skills is the game called it. I just call them special skills for generalization. Those really aren't a must. This is the key for getting 10 figure damage. Speed is probably the most useless of all the stats. HP, well, it's kind of a hard one to raise. And this effectively doubles your rate of SP recovery. And from 1, it goes to 2. I'm not sure what effect energy sources have, but the 2 is sufficient enough. And this is a definite must. 
So, basically, you might have noticed here that I don't have anything relating to experience boosts or getting the automatic experience like he does. He's got the experience booster and he's also got, if I can find it, this, Deep Thinker. And if you feed all six energy sources into this, boy, you can level up ridiculously fast. That aside, here I got the capacity being boosted a lot. I do intermittently have something in here. But as you can tell here, I focus a lot on defense. But the basic idea is pretty much the same for the most part. Got burst up again. I alternate between burst up and burst down. Okay, that's what you need at the bare minimum. Now, if you want to get equipment to burst, yeah, I noticed the nines on these four. And this one here as well, because I've used it so many times. But the fastest way to get equipment to burst is none other than this one. It seems odd, but it is. I have a dead end room right away, so that's good. Now, what you need to do is you set the angel command, you just press the L2 button, I hate the fact they're squishable, because it ends up bringing up menus that I'm not anticipating or expecting to see. But that aside, this is what you need to use. Put Rania off into a corner and hold circle and X. Fast forward. <laughs> When something bursts just like that, simply replace it. Notice how fast that 240 went. It may be a little slow at first, but it's fast. So how far do you go? And how crazy as this is. Okay, usually I would say level 30 or 31 is a good stopping point. At this point, when you're pretty much got everything burst or you hit level 30, Welcome. use an exit. Yeah, I got a ton of total stored levels. More than double what's effectively the maximum. Now, head to the blacksmith and put strength in him to use. Rank 1 stuff is so cheap. And. One of the key values that you need to watch for is multiples of five. I'll be covering that next. Let me get these boosted while I'm at it. I'm going to unequip that, and usually before you do any synthesizing, save. But since I was pretty much already prepared for that, this is a level three. To make a level three, you need three level twos because you can synthesize three items into this. You might notice that it's a little different than what you might be expecting, but that's also because... Can you guess? It's been strengthened already! <laughs> yeah, so it's not the 20% that you might be seeing, which in effect in this case would be uh, 54. It's actually a lot more than that. It's two and a half times that, or 50%. That's why it's looking like it's adding 135 as opposed to the uh, 54. So, fuse three level twos into this. And to get a level two, you need to fuse three level ones into a base. Notice how much more powerful that got. But first, I need to get this to burst. Let's see, I don't care too much for HP. Defense and speed are the other ones that this targets. Attack and hit won't change, so I guess this one's good. I need to go burst that. Protection. Put this method to use again. This is not a dead end. So, in this case, just do whatever. Let him take care of the enemies as much as possible, or whatever your angel is. 
this is a dead end room, so stop there. Yeah, you can jump on top of that if you want. Watch all the activity. Yes, you can do diagonal throws. And this is hilarious. What's hilarious? Just watch. <laughs> there you have it. Zombie just triggered that trap. Click. Click. Yes, they can get poisoned from that trap. Oh, this. Click. They poisoned. Leave the trail of 16 behind. Well done. Use an exit. Okay, now that it's been burst, that means I need to pick an item for a level 4. How powerful is that going to be? Of course, being a misc item, I have to choose a rank 5 or 6 misc item. Yeah, I got so many of these because they target the three most important stats. Hit is the other one, speed is pretty much useless. But it needs to be either rank four or 5 or 6. So, pick something that meets my needs. And I want this one to be the level 5 when I get there, so I'm going to spare that. It's best that it's rank 5, because rank 6 apparently has no further advantage. Yeah, I guess I'll use that. And I'm going to go over to the rename shop. L4, that means level 4, and now I repeat this process, usually it's best to save before that, since I have 3 completed level 3 items, you can see just how powerful they are, now for the level 4, you can see, since this one's unboosted, it's getting that 20% instead. It had, the closer you can get to a multiple of five without going under, the better. Uh, oh. I guess that means I gotta go withdraw from the bank. And it's gonna be quite a bit, so... Yeah, I need to run through the X advanced martial arts dungeon for that. But that's why you don't want to use rank 6 stuff, because it's so expensive. But look at those base stats. Take that times 2.5, and, and then add 99 for the stats that this actually affects. Now it's time to go strengthen that as far as I possibly can. This should be really quick. In fact, I could almost use one of these instead. But since I like this one, I'm going for that. Look how quick that burst. Almost no effort into it. It's one of the fastest ways to get icons in this game, too, that I can see. Just look how much of a boost this one single strengthening gets. Plus 20 on HP, plus 17 on attack, 12 on defense, a puny 2 on accuracy hit, and 9 on speed. And the next one gets 21 on HP, another 17 on attack, 13 on defense, another 2 on accuracy, and 10 on speed. 
quite the difference, isn't it? <laughs>